guys, welcome back to my channel. So the items that I'm gonna show you guys now are basically items that I've purchased online and here locally in Charlotte. I'm gonna start off with the Peter Paluto for Target. I actually did not go to the store. I went and uh, online and got the pieces that I wanted. The first thing that I got was the Boussier top. It's more of a bathing suit. I got the top in an extra large. Um, if I went to the store, I would have definitely gotten a large, but I can always take it in a little bit. It doesn't have a way for you to adjust it at the back, um, but it fits pretty well. It does have the wiring in the back, so it kind of hold, it holds you up um, as far as with support. And it's pretty cute. I love the print. I also got the matching uh, skirt, the pencil skirt. This didn't actually come together in the collection, but just by me going through it online and seeing it, I automatically knew I wanted to pair the two together. Um, just, you know, having it with a blazer and some heels to kind of layer it over. I'm definitely, you know, can't wait till summertime comes to wear this or even in the spring with a simple heel. So I did love the print. I've heard people, you know, not have a good experience with it, but I actually love the items that I did get from the Pita Paluta line. The next thing I got, uh, my birthday was in February, so I did purchase three birthday dresses. Uh, my birthday was on a Wednesday, so what ended up happening is I wanted a more casual look. And the last dress that I got, I found on Instagram. I was just scrolling through, found this dress from Celeb, or Certified Apparel Boutique. And I actually ended up seeing a lot of this print. Um, they're coming out with more as far as the jumpsuits and the shorts. Um, but I got the dress, and it's the doll baby art of color dress and it actually has like a pink detailed zipper down the back i had great customer service the dress came in two business days as soon as i saw it it sold out so i was so glad that i was able to pick it up i got it in a large uh, size large the only thing i would say about the dress is if you you know if you have if you're more heavy up top i would definitely recommend getting a bra and pairing it with it. I paired it with a black bra because it does cut really low. It does have the cutouts on the side, but that didn't, you know, it wasn't a problem for me because it's not too much of a cutout. So nothing was hanging out or anything like that. The dress does have like a tool to the bottom and then another type of lining. I love this dress. I paired it with my black uh, biker jacket and my knee high boots and it was a hit. I loved it. It was colorful. It was me, very flirty. So this was definitely a great purchase. And I know a lot of people say don't purchase things from Instagram, but I'll definitely be purchasing from this company again. So I love that dress. The next dress, not so much. Uh, the dress is fine, um, but I got this dress from Misguided, which is a UK based online website. The shipping is horrible, you guys. If you wanna purchase something from this company, I recommend paying the additional $30 or ordering it a month in advance because this was the dress that I was actually going to wear. The dress does look exactly how it looks on the website. Um, it was only like $34 because it was on sale. I'd seen it for like six months and I was just eyeballing it, um, just seeing if I really wanted it. It's like a mermaid dress and it's long sleeve and then it has the cutout in the front uh, and then it has the gold zipper detail in the back. And I'm not sure what fabric this is, but I never actually end up wearing the dress because it took so long to come. So it's a gorgeous dress. It's like this emerald green, perfect for what I was going for, for when I wanted to wear it. But unfortunately, it did not come within time for my birthday. So um, that's really all I have to say about that company. Just make sure you order it in advance if you do want to order from Misguided. Uh, they're not too quick with replying to emails either. Uh, the next items that I want to show you guys is my fall fur collar and I love these I got these for six dollars you guys from eBay these did take about a month to come but they were free shipping it was six dollars so I had no complaints I knew they were going to take that long so I was okay with it and I I've been looking for these and surprisingly I haven't found them at a thrift store which is where I always am I always see people find their fur collars from their stores, but I didn't find any. So I definitely went ahead and ordered them online. I believe I ordered them January 24th and I got them maybe like a week ago. And I also had it, this is supposed to be red, but it's like a burgundy color, which is so cute. Just to pair with your blazer or a denim jacket or like a trench coat or something. So hopefully next winter I'll get to wear them as it's getting a little warm here in Charlotte. 
Um, my next two items are from ASOS. And when it was, I was snowed in here in Charlotte for like two or three days. So that's a lot of the time where I purchase all of these online items. And I got this wiggle dress. And this is a, what size is it? A size UK 16, which is a US 12. And the dress wasn't on sale. I believe it was like $75. But it just looks so vintage to me. Something that I knew I could find. Um, but it's just the cut of the dress. It kind of cinches here. It has a little bit of ruch ruching. And it has pockets. So I definitely wanted it. And I went ahead and purchased it from ASOS. It didn't look as vibrant when I, I saw it online when I got it. But I went ahead and tried it on. I plan on pairing it with like my leopard uh, booties. Just doing like a mixed print with it and cinching it with a belt. So, so far so good. I do love the dress. What I really love, and I actually ordered this last week. And I'll zip it up and show you guys. Is my fall leather skater dress. And I got this from ASOS. This is a size UK 16, size US 12. ASOS sizes go two sizes down, if you guys weren't aware of that. And it has like the zipper in the back. I've seen a lot of skater dresses, but I just like the cut of this. Uh, ASOS always has good quality as far as their fabric. It's lined with this type of fall leather suede or something. I'm not too sure what it is. But I think I can still get away with this, even though it's getting closer to the warmer months. I do plan on wearing this um, just with like sandals or flats. I love this dress. I love the cut of it. A-line dresses, skater dresses, you know, circle dresses, just for someone like me who, you know, isn't so hourglass figure. These are definitely my favorite. So those are all my pieces. I also want to go ahead and get into the shoes. So I got these from Make Me Chic, and they were about $25. My first time ordering from this company. I've seen a lot of people order for them. The shipping was about five days. They are in California. And I used a coupon. It was Happy FEB. And the coupon saved me 25% uh, off. So I got these in the floral print. Just a simple heel for the spring, for the summer. And it has like a pink, purple, and a blue. And then also for Make Me Chic, which these are my new favorite shoes. And I can't wait to wear them. It's the these yellow wedges. And I believe these were $35. These are so cute. I remember having like some Nine West wedges that were similar to this when I was like in high school and I basically wore those things every day. It kind of has that Gucci vibe if you look at like the scrap of the shoe with the big buckle. So $35, um, these don't look like they were $35. So I think I kind of did pretty well. The brand on these are Lillian and they have them in white and they have them in pink. So I definitely think I'm gonna go ahead and get the other colors. You guys should definitely check out Make Me Chic. And then I have these. These are Mosimo from Target. I am always in Target. Either I'm purchasing house items, either I'm purchasing food, clothes. I'm just always in Target. And these have like a gold buckle. These were $29. And the style is Shari and it's like a floral. I was fussing with my best friend because she was telling me that these two are the same and they're not to me. These are more of a tie-dye. These are more of like a floral, more for like denim. These are more for like a dress. Maybe I'm just making excuses because I did kind of purchase two pairs of shoes that are similar, but I feel like they have two separate purposes. So I'm definitely going to wear these quite often. I can't wait to, I'm probably going to wear these this weekend with like some denim jeans and a pink blazer. We're supposed to have a lot of good weather. So I thought those were definitely a good deal. And then the last pair of shoes I got are the Wild Diva. These are $24.99 and I got these from my local uh, It's Fashion Metro. This is like my second pair of shoes from that store. I'm definitely going to start going there more often and seeing what they have because the shoes are inexpensive but they don't necessarily look inexpensive it's just the way you pair things it's just the way you make things look for yourself um so these are cute i saw them in the nude and the leopard i didn't necessarily like the other two but pairing them in the black with the, like this gold plate or whatever this is or, like some type of rubber i think they're super cute um just with a simple black dress a simple little midi dress if you're going on a date and a clutch and basically that's it the kind of shoe like a dressier shoe you have on a really simple dress so i do love these glad i picked them up and that is all you guys. I hope I didn't talk too fast. I've been a little busy here. I'm gonna definitely start 
uploading new videos. I just moved into my new place. I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of do-it-yourself um, things that I'm doing, my redo of my closet, turning it into an office. So I do want to thank all my new subscribers and just, you know, thank you guys for coming on and liking my videos.